Oh, look at this lovely booth that they have ready for us. Got two new pieces of equipment here. There have been sightings of Mr. Alexander Dobbin. It's not only the food you're paying for, which in itself is worth the price, it's the experience. Why is it me there? You're beeping. That was you. What? All right, well, I'm gonna eat my soup before it gets cold. You're welcome to sit here. You can have all the free smells you want. Oh! Whoa! They definitely want some soup. What's going on, adventurers? How is everybody doing on this beautiful day? We are back in Gettysburg at one of our favorite dining establishments, the Dobbin House. We're getting ready to go downstairs and enjoy a delicious lunch. We're gonna take you guys with us, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different, and I'm sure y'all are gonna love it. We have some new equipment that we're gonna test out because this place has been documented as being haunted. So we're gonna just basically sit there and enjoy our lunch and take out some of our equipment, see what kind of readings we get. We might even do a small necrophonic session and see if we just notice anything out of the ordinary, which we've never really done before. We usually just kind of sit and relax and enjoy our lunch. Gotta get y'all ready for spooky season. I mean, Halloween is almost here. So let's go guys, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll show you the food that we get because I know you guys love it when we make you hungry. <laughs> it, it kind of is a side effect of our videos. We always like to show our food, so let's go. So the Dobbin House is very popular. You might wanna leave a little time because sometimes there is a wait. Today the wait is about 30 to 45 minutes. That is because we requested to be in the tavern. The main dining house is, as far as I know, just for dinner. Uh, we've eaten in there a couple times. It's a really cool experience. If you do decide to do that and make a reservation, ask for one of the bedrooms. Super cool. Looks like you're dining like in a bed, but it's actually a booth. Super cool. That's part of the experience, you know, and we were just talking to an employee that works here. He said, basically the premise of the entire dining room is that it's, it's kind of like a museum. So they do actually have a museum. For those of you that don't know, the Dobbin House is the oldest standing structure in Gettysburg. So that in itself is super cool and a good reason to visit. But they say that Alexander Dobbin, who was the owner of the property, is actually still seen here. So. Gotta keep our eye out for them, at least you never know what we might see. Wow. Now, we are sitting out here. They do have a bar, which is super cool. Sitting out here just having a drink, enjoying the beautiful weather, and getting ready to have our lunch. So, we might take you guys through the museum after we finish our lunch. It's possible we might be able to get in there. We'll see what happens. Never know. We might be able to do it. Finish up your drink, Lise. They said we're next. I get rid of it. <laughs> mm. How is it? Good. What did you go with today? What was today's selection? 10 pounds of the bar. Sam Adams Oktoberfest, which is appropriate. Pretty it appropriate. is very appropriate. Sure it's I've never been to a real Oktoberfest. We're heading down into the tavern right now, guys. Ooh, creaky. All right. Oh, look at this lovely booth that they have ready for us. We just put in our order for our lunch. Super excited, we're getting the King's onion soup, which is basically a French onion soup. Best I've ever had though, with the exception of my uncle's. He makes a really killer uh, French onion soup as well. This soup is so good. It has the most meat that I've ever had in a soup. So, so good. Basically, thick chunks of roast beef. Divine. So, we're also going to split a filet for dinner as well. While we're waiting, though, I want to show you guys the new equipment that we did get. We've got two new pieces of equipment here. Let's turn it on real quick. All right, turning it on. And right now, can you see the green light here? Right up here. So, um, it actually turned red. 
when it's getting some type of reading. And we're just gonna sit this out on the table here. Keep an eye on it. Got another one here. Let's turn this one on. This one's pretty cool because this one also has the color indicators, but it'll actually light the screen up different colors. It'll light up the screen either green, yellow, or red. So I'm super excited. Let's just kind of sit here and it's not really ideal conditions, um, you know, for an investigation because it is kind of loud in here and there's a lot of people around right now. But that's okay. We're just, this is casual. We're keeping it casual. We're just going to sit here and enjoy our lunch and see if we pick up anything in the meantime. So we will let you guys know if anything happens. Super cool. And I love the setting. If you guys ever get the chance to enjoy a meal here at the Dobbin House or the Dobbin House Tavern, we highly recommend it. There's something about temperature. Maybe it does take a temperature reading. We have to read by candlelight. I can't see the screen. Cannot even see. But we can't see anything. It's so dark. Can you see? I see the green light. You can't see the, uh, up here is like little, see it says Celsius or Fahrenheit, something about temperature. Now, I don't know what it's on. It's giving me a number. Oh, wait. Why is it saying 31? I don't know. I love how they have all these cool, like, artifacts sitting around. Look how cool that is. I'm not sure what the thing in the middle is. I know these two are jugs, like water jugs. What's the thing in the middle? Is it like a grater or something? You know, that may be something to hold a, a candle, like a lantern type. Oh. That's what it's Because I bet this, this looks like a door. Uh-oh, Lisa's breaking it. I don't know. Lisa just broke it. <laughs> just kidding. It would take more than that to break it, I think. So can we talk for a second about how nice it smells in here right now? Oh my goodness. I'm smelling that French onion, the king soup right now. I'm smelling it. Perfect. Like it's a destination. It's restaurant. divine. Like, now, I will say guys, when you come here, expect to pay a little bit because it's not only the food you're paying for, which in itself is worth the price, it's the experience. Why is it beeping? You're beeping. That was you. What? It was you. Oh, what's happening? You sure this was this one? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just sit it here a minute. Matter of fact, let's sit both of them here. Yeah, that was weird. Let's sit both of, both of them. I mean, it stayed on. It didn't turn off or anything, right? No. I'm not sure what's happening, but... Like I said, guys, like there have been sightings of Mr. Alexander Dobbin. I think he was actually a minister, but also been uh, sightings. This was part of the Underground Railroad. We're going to try to take you in there in that area after we're done eating if they'll allow us, which would be kind of cool because it probably won't be very busy. They ha so they have actually seen slaves throughout the house, apparitions, and also some Civil War soldiers. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. This place, literally when you walk in here, especially the tavern, you really feel like you went back in time. 100%. That's why I said it's not just the meal no. that you're paying for, it's also the experience. Right. It's an immersive experience. So for people like us that enjoy that kind of thing, especially if you're like a Disney fan, like that's, Disney is probably the number one place I can say where you feel fully immersed in everything. This is a close second. However, this is real. Like, this is real. Right. This is really here. I mean, this... This used to be actually a spring house. That's why it's called the Spring House Tavern. So... I mean, it's not like it was fabricated. No. Like, recently and remodeled. Like, this was literally here. And like I said, this is the oldest standing structure in Gettysburg. Whoa. How does that... How does that alone make you feel? Okay, I just got goosebumps because I... Me too. I didn't know that. I didn't know it either until just a couple minutes ago. So like, probably cornfields, dirt roads, and they had this building. Exactly. Wow. Right? Do so you guys know what time it is? It's time for the cheese pool competition. Are you prepared to win the cheese pool competition today? I always win. Uh, I don't think so. Last time I won, I kicked your butt. I think so? Yeah, I did. You might have to just correct that. 
Time to set the record straight. Let's do this. Drum roll. What's the closest you're gonna get without my hands? What's beeping? Was that one of these things? Yeah. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. A there. cheese pool? Oh! Winning. Look at this cheese pool right now. This is a winner. She's winning the cheese pool competition. All right, you, you probably got it, Lisa. I, I'm gonna try <laughs> to top that. Let's see what happens. I don't even know how you did that. It was like double utensils or something. Well, I perfected the cheese pool. Have you? Yes. Is that what you call it? I'm gonna try double utensils too. Is that the is that the trick? Maybe. <laughs> Come on, cheese pool, let's go. I'm pretty good. She's still connected, guys. Oh, she sure is. Are you cheating? Oh no, who's winning? I'm not tall enough. Okay. Whoa. It might be a tie. It's a tie. It was it's a, like tie. a tie. I'll take a tie. So I just wanted to show you guys. I was not exaggerating when I was describing the pieces of meat that are in the soup. Look at that. So, oh yes, yeah, it's, it's it keeps going up and then coming back down. I think somebody else is impressed with the amount of meat in the soup. Yeah, it's, it's still moving. He wants the soup. Do you want some of my soup? Well, it just, it just went up. Did you used to eat the soup when you lived here? All right, well, I'm going to eat my soup before it gets cold. You're welcome to sit here and drool over it. Just don't get any in my soup. You can have all the free smells you want. Oh! Whoa! They definitely want some soup. I'm getting chills right now. They definitely want some soup. Hey, if, if you could eat it, I would be glad to give you a little bit of mine. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us, though. We appreciate it. We'll be um, talking to you again in just a couple minutes. Ooh, there's the house salad, guys, with the homemade blue cheese dressing. And it is out of this world. Definitely out of this era. Lisa's going to partake in one of those delicious rolls. So let's see bread? if anybody wants any of the salad. Salad, bread. You guys want any of the salad or bread? I know it doesn't smell as good as the soup did. I have a feeling they're going to be wanting some of our filet in a couple minutes. That's my guess. What do you think? Well, of course. That's the best. Oh, yeah. It sounds, seems like they like the best. <laughs> I think so. Somebody must know that our filet is about to come out least. Oh. I just got some action on this meter right here. That one's been pretty quiet today. For the most part, we've been getting a lot of action on this one. So, I bet you it's going to be coming out momentarily. Well, somebody's hungry. Oh, it just shut off. What? what? Okay. You <laughs> turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's not cold in here, is it? Jen's really enjoying her salad dressing. I'm really getting into my salad. It's all over her face. I'm just saving here. a little bit for later, that's all. Yeah. It's getting cold in here. I was asking Jen to check. This green one has a thermometer. Do they both? I don't know. I, I didn't really look at the blue one. Wait, what the heck? Okay. According to this, it looks like the beeping sound is off, but I know I'm hearing this one. I hear too. That's weird. Why is this thermometer um, showing a temperature? Um, it's saying 20 degrees Celsius. I'm not really good with the conversion. That's like 80. Guys, I was sitting here just answering back some of you that are in the live chat right now because we're getting ready to do a premiere in 14 minutes. Let's put them here so you can see them. You guys see that? Did you see that? Let's move the handle around here. 
That one is going crazy. This one, I haven't seen a whole lot of, oh. Yeah. 29 it said, what does that mean? I don't know. It says 26 now. Oh, it's counting. Wait a minute, what the heck? Look, the numbers are going up and down. Now it's zero, but it said 26. What the heck? Nine, two, zero. I wonder when it beeps. It has to be. Oh, hit the eight. If, if you're uh, one of your spirits, can light up our meter. There it goes. Yeah, it'll have to up to a certain number and it'll beep. But it is changing digits. <laughs> Let me just do a quick shout out to some of the people that are here early. Look at this deliciousness right here in front of Lisa. We're going to actually split this. This is a filet. I'm not sure how many ounces. By looking at it, I would say maybe eight. Very thick and juicy. These are so good. We've eaten quite a few of these here. We've ordered an extra big potato. Um, this is basically the icing on the potato right here. Sour cream with some chives. This is so good. I don't know what the secret is, but they got it right with this one. So I just want to do a quick shout out to you guys. We are getting ready to premiere our video, Sneaky Alligator Surprise. So for a lot of you guys that are already in here early, I'm gonna give y'all a shout out. If you want a shout out, be sure to show up to our premieres early. And if we're filming that day, getting ready for the premiere, I'll give you guys a shout out. Let me just say what's up to Catherine, Kayla, Tina, Adrian, George, and Esperanza. Also Deborah. Welcome Deborah. Deborah's new. So we'll see you guys in a couple minutes in the premiere. Obviously this video is going to be seen after the premiere. We're looking forward to hanging out with you guys. And we're going to dig into this steak right now. This filet looks phenomenal. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this meter is going crazy. Uh, Jen just got up to go to the bathroom and the meter is going crazy. What? Oh, it just blurred out too. What the heck? Hmm, somebody coming for dinner. I want coffee, I'm getting coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this other one on too. Okay. I just got my coffee. This is going crazy. John went to the bathroom. Okay. I'm gonna move this this one. I don't know. There's, there's the candle. Still going off. So we've obtained special permission to go in here through this door. Is it back here? That's the spring. You can see it through the. Oh yeah, it's locked. Oh yeah, I see it. Lisa sees the spring. Look in the window. You have to get a little Oh, see, they built the house over the spring. Came out here and got their water. 
Let me see. Let me take a look inside of the spring house here. This is the original spring. And they built the house around it. That's super cool. I wish I could go in there. I want to go in. Pretty neat though, guys. It's pretty cool in here. All right, we're gonna go on up. It's pretty awesome. Lisa's gonna investigate this the little girl's nice, room. This, no, this is a nice haunted room. Should we follow her in and see if it's haunted? Check it out. <laughs> Check this out, guys. It does have modern plumbing. It does. We are at the main entrance of the dining room. And there's some really cool stuff here in this cabinet. Very, very cool. Check out that broom. Pretty awesome. This whole place is very cool. I do feel sorry for that turkey though. Poor little guy. He's pretty big actually. Poor little turkey. Let's see if we get any readings on our meter here, guys. Now we're gonna head up these stairs in just a couple minutes. I'm gonna go right up here. This is where the slaves used to hide out. Part of the Underground Railroad. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to head upstairs now. These steps are a little sketch, but we can do it. We wanna show you guys what it looks like up there, so I'm heading in. Let's do it. I'm gonna wait till I get upstairs though to get the meter out because I gotta hold on to the hip handrail. You guys know I do have partial blindness in my one eye, so here it is, the slave hideout and museum for, f oh, it's blurring for free. So let's go up there, check it out. Look at this. Look at this guys, so this is how it was back in the day. There were actually slaves that hid underneath of the flooring to stay safe. We're gonna turn on our meter. Let's turn on our meter right here. Apparently there are plenty of slave apparitions that have been sighted here. And is anyone here that wants to communicate with us? Go ahead and um, light up our meter for us if you're here and you wanna talk to us. Or just let us know that you're here. Go ahead and flicker the flame or light up our meter if you want to just let us know that you're here with us. Those mannequins are a little bit creepstar. So sad they had a hideout underneath of the flooring. It's pretty heartbreaking. Hi. Hi. Hi, who's this? Hey. Reactive. Can Jen come up? Smoke. Smoke? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna keep going up the steps, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm gonna leave this on, but I'm gonna put it in my pocket for right now. Oh, don't do that. No, because these things are rickety. I didn't do anything. Wait, you didn't do that? No. You I didn't tap. What you're talking about. You didn't tap on the steps. I was like, I didn't do it. You didn't tap on the steps. Nope. Something just banged under the I steps. Know, I heard it. It wasn't me. Did you feel it? Yeah, I heard it. Like stomping. Yeah, that wasn't me. Okay. Nope. And I'm still crazy enough to go up here and see what's happening. I did not do that. Cray cray. Oh yeah. Oh, All right. What? There's a whole room up here. If I can just. Wow. Let's get out this meter real quick. I wish you could come up here, but. Well, I said I wish you could. I don't know if it's a good idea. But this is the porch. I know I've seen an apparition up here on this porch before. 
I know I have. But can you go out here? Okay, maybe not. But I have seen something on this porch before, guys. Oh, there's a bullet hole in this window. Yeah? There's a bullet hole right there. Let's see. There is a bullet hole. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, and there's a bunch of wasps out there. Look at that nest. Right there in the corner. What's all this stuff? The artifacts located in this case are a sampling of the more than 2,000 items found during the restoration of the Dobbin House in 1977 to 1978. I cannot read the rest, but you guys can. I can see what it says. But how cool is this, guys? Look at all this stuff. Is anybody that was the previous owner of this stuff here with us right now? Uh, Mr. Dobbin, are you here? If you are, please light up the meter. Here, uh, here's the information about the Dobbin House being on the National Register of Historic Places. Like I said earlier, this is the oldest structure still standing in Gettysburg. Super cool, guys. Super, super cool. Something going on over here. I'm not sure. I guess this is the original stone right here in this case. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And look at this. What's this? Um, I guess this is when they renovated. This is what everything looked like originally. Wow. Super cool experience. Like I said, highly recommend that you do visit. Oh, here. Underground Railroad Free Press. In recognition and appreciation of its reconstruction, realistic sculpted tableau of hidden freedom seekers and making the display of its authentic Underground Railroad finding, hiding spot. Ah. Uh, and making the display of its authentic Underground Railroad hiding spot in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, available to the public. Underground Railroad Free Press is pleased to award Dobbin House the Underground Railroad Free Press Prize. That is so cool. Congratulations, Dobbin House. That's amazing. All right, so we're going to get ready to head back downstairs. It's a little creepy. Lise? Definitely steep steps, but totally worth a look. So I'm gonna turn off the camera for a minute and make my way downstairs. I need to hold on to the railing and I don't wanna drop my camera. Okay, this turkey just started moving by itself.
we're headed out.